Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to our Civilization 6 Let's Play um, as Daenerys Targaryen in the Civ of Ice and Fire mod, True Start Locations, Map of Westeros. So in the previous uh, episode, which I think was my best episode of the series yet, because uh, I thought the editing was really good, let me know what you thought. Um, we had a war with Doran, and it was technically also a war with Tywin Lannister, but he never did anything, so... It was just a war with Doran. Um, we had to cut that war short. One, because while we were trying to siege Sandstone, a bunch more Sand Snakes uh, showed up, which we were um, simply uh, unequipped to, to deal with at the, at the time. Um, we didn't have a strong enough catapult. We probably need a catapult army or two to actually take the city. Plus, I didn't have enough medics um, and I, you know, to keep my dudes healthy, and we just did not have enough. Uh, I need more crossbowmen armies. And stuff in order to actually fight Doran at a you know at a good enough uh, level in order to take Sandstone, um, we're gonna have to crank our military up to 11 in order to fight him. You know, actually take him down. Uh, our relationship with Doran now is unfriendly. Minus two for unknown reason. Well, I mean, we just had a war. <laughs> Uh, will he take a delegation? No, people don't need your offerings. Okay, so I mean, he's not very happy with me, but we did, we did just have a war. But now we're at war with Elena Tyrell and Edmer Tully. Now, I don't expect Tully to really do much, um, but we have Elena Tyrell has founded a city of Horn Hill right next to Vaisharak, right in the direction I was trying to expand in. So... Uh, at the very least, we have to take Horn Hill. We have to. I want Horn Hill. Uh, in order to do that, of course, we are going to have to send uh, catapults up there uh, in order to take the city down. It doesn't have as much defense strength as uh, Doran's sandstone does, but our, our uh, dudes just did not deal enough damage. Oh, hey, look. An apostle of the old gods from House Stark has come. And then a builder from House Baratheon and an archer from House Lannister. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit late. <laughs> that archer from House Lannister is a bit late. I cannot imagine any condition which would cause a ship to founder. Okay, so I've got shipbuilding. <laughs> it's taken me this long to actually want to get shipbuilding, uh, just so that my units can embark. I don't need pikemen, so I'm not. I'm never going to get military. Well, I'm going to get military tactics if I want cartography. Um, I don't think I need it. I'm not planning on making any ships. Nobody's on it on a coast at least not at this point all right so i want to i need to get more oh that's sewers of housing that's right uh, i can boost wildfire if i build two alchemists so i guess we can do that it's only gonna take three turns but we can get that down we'll get fortifications so that we can get keeps and although heavy siege tactics we're gonna need that as well heavy siege tactics would be really good scorpions are really great against cities so that scorpion is really what we need in order to take down cities better than catapults. So we've got another Unsullied 2 uh, army, which is great. I'm really quite wanting to... Uh, do I have more than the one dragon? Still? Yeah, there's my other dragon. I'm going to send this dragon all the way up there. Because let's be honest, the dragons are not very good against uh, Doran anyway, so... I'm going to get the dragons out of there. We're going to send it up. We're going to make it into a dragon core. And uh, let's see. Are there any more cores of Unsullied down here? See, here's the problem. I have to fight Elena Tyrell, but I can't take my units away from down here. Or uh, or Dorne will, will ruin me. And then Astapor is going to finish its entertainment complex so that we can... Oh, Marine has already fixed itself. But we, we don't have any war weariness. Oh, nice. But we don't have any amenities anyway, really. So we are going to um, finish that entertainment complex so that we can get that uh, going. We're researching wildfire over here for fun so that we can nuke somebody. Ooh, when did we meet House Rain? Oh, they declared war on us because they're allied with somebody. Edmer Tully. That's why we can see them now. So here's Castamere. They are a trade type. I am definitely sending them an envoy. Oh, I can't do that because we're at war. I need to make peace with them first. Which is really too... Oh no, I can send them envoys. 
Do I get the plus four even when we're at war? I hope so, because that's a lot of gold. And three is going to give me four gold in every commercial hub. Six would give me an additional four gold. Holy cow. That is incredible. So now we have two of these. House Rain and House Redwind. But they must be different in some way. Combat victories provide gold equal to 3% of the combat strength of the defeat unit. So, that, so that's how they differ from the other one. House Red one. Thankfully we moved our scout over here. And we're not before uh, Tully declared war. So he didn't get murdered. We're not at war with uh, with Littlefinger. Astapor needs the boost. It's building some important stuff. And this catapult core will continue to make its way up towards Hornhill. This is going to take a long time to get there. Our dragon is going to keep making its way up. And it will become a dragon core once it gets there. Uh, this crossbow will head over here. And Young Kai will give me another crossbow. In. Oh, it's got a crossbowman core right here. It's going to come up here. Now, Elena Tyrell could also attack this area over here, actually. So we do need to put some troops here. So I think this crossbowman core will actually stay in Yunkai. This individual crossbowman, however... Go here, and I'm going to grab the barracks. So once we've upgraded to barracks... Our units that we train here will have, you know, they'll be better. He can just stay there. He's not going to be very useful, but he can stay there anyway. This guy can come over here. Obviously, the crossbow one is safe inside the encampment. Over here at Vase Astravar, um, I don't need walls at Vase Astravar. Not at all. Um, I would like an entertainment complex right here on this uh, crappy des desert tile. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this one's actually better because it's crappier tile. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so if I put it, if I put an entertainment district right there, so Volantis will probably end up building it. We'll hit all these. So over here at Vase After Far, they're still in a pretty crappy position. Of what they, you know, because they don't have enough production to really build things. So we're going to just have them start building a monument. I got a lot of money, which is great. Um, it means that I can use a lot, of, I can use my funds to, uh, well, fund my military. Send this guy over here, make him into a core with that guy. You come over here, keep scouting. I want to see if I can get around these stupid mountains from this direction. It's going to watch this this area in case Tyrell decides to send some stuff down here. We're also going to watch this mountain pass in case she tries to send stuff down here. These would both be good places for forts. Well, all she's sending so far are missionaries. But she's been doing that for ages. Why is there a House Baratheon builder over here? Like, seriously. Why is Stannis Baratheon sending a builder down here? There doesn't seem to be any reason. It's just, it's stupid. Enacting no, stop it. Times have I stop cannot it. imagine any condition which a okay. diplomat is a man. Okay. So we got a bunch of stuff. We finally have diplomatic service. Um, which will, that's, that's what we'll get, we can construct spies. We can establish resident embassies now and declare all these different types of war. We could easily declare a holy war against Elena Terrell, but we're already at war with her, so it doesn't matter. Now we can get natural history because we didn't need it before. Naval tradition, I don't give a crap. Honestly, I don't give a crap about any of the civics that are left. We are not really a civics focused civ at this point. We are focused around war. Do we need an up do we need an armory? We might require an armory to get a military engineer. That might be a thing. Wow, why is Marine's production so low? Oh. It's an Wow, wait, 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 wait. Why is Marine... I didn't think Marine had such crappy production, but it really does. Okay, we need to improve this. Spend some of our war funds to build a... Buy a builder. And then we'll put a mine over here and give it to Marine instead of Astapor. Marine just has really bad production. I need to put thing on there, but that's such a crap... They're working it, too. 
a crap tile. They're also working with other tiles. Might want to put farms there. Alright. Um, there's not much good stuff to build a marine because it's such a low production. We could build our second alchemist so that we can boost wildfire. Let's do that. Astapor built the entertainment complex. Now it's building an arena. Once the arena is done, we can build the zoo. That. Move there. Move there. And now you guys, you'll just stand there. Please tell me these mountains do not go all the way to the water. I mean, my guys can embark now. Condemn the heretic? What? What does that do? Oh, it kills it. This crossbowman core. It's just gonna stay there. We gotta get units in these cities because they're in a, they're in positions where they can be attacked by Elena Tyrell. Uh, yeah. I wanna I want an embassy with Dorn. I want a Dornish embassy. Isn't he the guy with the the women? <laughs> Isn't that Dorn? Come on, turn. Hopefully having the embassy will also assist with our uh, relationship. And we can s can we see him? Well, we don't have an embassy in his capital, do we? So we can't see it, his capital. But Doran doesn't dislike us now. He's back to being neutral. Tywin is right back to friendly. We're minus two for an unknown reason here. Um... Ah, we're happy to allow you to construct an embassy in our capital. Okay, so now we have an embassy. So, well, we had troops on their border. Of course we did. <laughs> I mean, we technically still have troops on his border. This counts as his border, but it's also my border, so I don't see a problem with having troops there. Okay, so we got that extra luxury connected. So now we have Jade. If I could get... Wait, no, that's not Tywin. Tywin Lannister doesn't like us. He's still unfriendly. It's Stannis Baratheon and them. That, wait, I thought Tywin was... I don't know. He's not going to trade with me, though. I mean, this is not going to happen. Does he want an embassy? No, he's not even interested. He's not... He's probably not going to deal with me, or if he does, it's going to be an unfair... He doesn't like anyone. I'd like some of his gold, but because he doesn't like me, he's going to charge me an arm and a leg. I mean, I'd be easily willing to pay him 200 for it just because I make that in, like a turn. No. Oh. He will accept that. I mean, I make that in technically two turns, but it's not that big of a deal. I still need to juice my economy some more. But now that we have the gold, we've got two more luxuries, which should help with the amenities. Yeah, see? We got better amenities now. <laughs> I could just fit a city right here. Or on the coast. would probably be the better idea. Three, one, two, three. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad to put a city there. I mean, if stop Dorn from putting one there, surely. That's a good thing. Okay, so this crossbowman will core up with this crossbowman. So now we have a core. Once this finishes, we'll make another crossbowman, and we'll have another crossbowman army. That'll make three. Now we want more of them. And in fact, I want this guy to come down here. I want this guy to be... Well, maybe not, because we're going to have one here. Well, I mean, we don't want this guy to move over here. Doran is Doran is not going to like the fact that we have a troop on his border, like, all the time. The only other option is to move backwards a bit. But this guy is still going to be on his border, but I definitely need to keep him there, because I don't want him there. It shouldn't matter if the guy is in my territory. The city will bombard this guy. It's a House Lannister settler. Oh, no. No, everyone's settling over here now. Darn it. This is my territory. Can't settle over here. That guy can't attack because we just uh, cored up. But coring up is definitely the best thing to do. We can build medieval walls. I would want medieval walls in Vay Shrak, but not really in Yunkai. They don't really do anything except provide tourism, apparently, once you get conservation. You know, which kind of makes sense. All right, so Yunkai has a lot of... Yunkai has its uh, commercial hub. Now we got to think of the second district we want Yunkai to have. Now, Yunkai's strength, really, at the moment, is all of these mines. It's got three mines, 
right here. It's got four mines in it total. Um, so I definitely think an industrial zone would be the, the way to go here. So we're going to plop it right here for plus three. Perfect location for an industrial zone. So once that's built, Young Kai will definitely aid us in pump pumping the units out for the war effort. I'm hoping that Taiwan doesn't decide to attack me again. And I think the only reason he did it was because Doran got him to. Still, it's really annoying. Why is there a House Baratheon builder? In my territory. It's very strange. I don't care about culture. We've almost got all the stuff. So Lys also has several mines. Um, and we don't need an entertainment district in it because this one, one, two, three, four, already hits it. Tyros won't get the benefit, but it doesn't matter to me. Now, is there a plus three location? Doesn't look like it. It looks like the most we're going to get is plus two right now. However, if we look, there's a hill right here. So we'll be able to put a mine there. So that would eventually be plus three, because it would be next to three, uh, two mines plus that. On the other hand, if we put it down here, it would eventually be next to three mines. So we'll put the industrial zone down here. We've got to buy the tile. Plus two, eventually plus three, like I said. We'll get this tile eventually. How come Liss isn't grabbing any tiles? Does it just not produce any culture? That's true. We probably need the monument. Okay, Tyrosh could benefit from medieval walls. Honestly, it's right on the border with Dorne. But we want to build the armory. Can we build a military engineer yet? No, we can't. We can build a medic. I definitely want more of those. How, how much would it cost to buy an armory? 390 gold? I'm spending a lot of my gold, though. A bit too much, probably. We'll build the armory, but we'll purchase the market. The market's a lot cheaper. And that'll pay for itself eventually. I need more medics. That's really going to be the thing. If I, if all of my Unsullied have their own medic, I think would be in very good position. I think the medics heal every turn, but they can only heal one person. They don't heal multiple people at the same time. I think that's the way it works. I base that only on seeing that a dude didn't get healed fully once. So I don't know how accurate that statement is. But that's what it seems to be doing. We always want armies, because they're just straight up better. So whenever we build units, we upgrade them to armies. So Mir can finish its commercial hub in one turn, so we're going to do that. I would like to put this guy on a hill, but we don't have any protection for him if we do that. We're just going to put him over here in Yunkai. He's going to fortify. So now, these tiles aren't being worked, so I see no reason to upgrade them. We got pearls here, though, that I can connect now, and those crabs. Although the crabs aren't very good. Sea resources in this game are terrible. We're going to form our dragon core. Okay, so we know that one dragon's combat strength is like 65. Dragon core is 75. So for... For no additional cost, because it still only counts for maintenance for one dragon, we've boosted him to 75. It's really good. Holy cow. I mean, he can fight a pikeman and not die. I mean, he would still die to a sand snake because... Where's the sand snake army? He doesn't die to a standard sand snake. It almost dies to a core, and he would definitely die to an army, but he does one-shot other stuff. Ah, finally. We can get around this mountain. So, we're just going to continue to build up our military. Um, I'm sorry this episode probably isn't as exciting as the previous one, because that was a war, and it was heavily edited to make it flow really nicely. But I don't have time to edit it this week that much, just because... It's a pretty busy weekend. However, um, hopefully I'll have time to play this. Hey, there we go. Look, we got scorpions. Woman's birthday, so let's just quick... We can upgrade our catapult into a scorpion once he gets up there. So we'll see that in the next episode. We'll upgrade our catapult army into a scorpion army. And that should make its strength go through the roof. Because scorpions are really good. So hopefully with our scorpion... 
we can take down Horn Hill. Of course, I need some more units over there in order to do it. That's what we're going to try and do. Take down Horn Hill with the Scorpion. And look at that. We just killed a Python. Our first victory against House Tyrell. And of course, because we killed it with an Unsullied, we get a free builder. Which is amazing on this front, because these are new cities. So I definitely want to make sure that I kill everything up there with, with an Unsullied so that we get that free builder. Oh, I forgot the direction. I did it wrong. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. What I plan to do for the next episode is uh, record quite a bit uh, until you know interesting things happen and uh, cut those interesting things in so that you guys get a f more interesting, more fun-filled episode, uh, even if it's not like crazy combat all the time. But we are at war, so who knows what will happen. If Edmar Tully's final units actually arrive, it could get interesting. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Do like and comment the video if you did enjoy it. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.